What's going on, everybody? The original may go back with some more Gunfire Reborn content. As always, I will always cover the new updates. If I think the update sounds interesting enough, I'll play it and upload a video. This one, I'm on the fence about. I'm not sure, but I will go through the new update, go through the patch notes, and give my thoughts and opinions, as I always do. So... Be sure, before we get into it, you check the links down below, as always. Might be streaming right as you're watching this, so come on over, stop by. We have a lot of fun over there. We play a bunch of different games, and it's just a really, really cool place to hang out and have a good time. So come check that out. I would really appreciate it. And be sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new content on any of the really fun games that we have been playing recently. Um, there's a lot. So, so be sure you check that out. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications as well. But that being said, let's go ahead and get into talking, oh, jeez, um, uh, oh, God, hold on, this is so, I, it wouldn't be a, a, a Mako video if I didn't have to adjust my overlays for streaming versus, uh, the YouTube videos, so, um, hold, 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 please hold while I fix this problem, uh, it should take, like, two more seconds, um, but anyways, uh, the new patch notes just came out today. This is the day at as of the time this is going up, this just came out. So, um, like I said, we're just going to kind of go through it and talk about it. Uh, hello, everyone. In this update, we added a few exclusive inscriptions, some challenge events in Reincarnation 8, as well as fixed some bugs. For now, the studio is focused, focusing on developing the new hero and new weapons for DLC. In addition, we are working on designing more new content and gameplay. These contents take some time to develop and adjust. More information will be released in the near future. So, I knew they were focused on the new hero and new weapons for the DLC, but it says in addition they're working on designing more new content and gameplay. Uh, are they already thinking of second DLC? Are they talking about just other new weapons or maps or characters? Um, it's weird that they're focused on new content for the DLC, but also focused on other new content. Uh, why isn't this new content just going to be in the DLC? So why are you splitting the team? And uh, Regardless. Um, let's just get into it, shall we? Weapons. New exclusive inscriptions for weapons. We have the Justice. A lava area that continuously deals damage to enemies in it will be generated upon the bomb hitting the ground. I think that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan. Love it. Strike Wing. Uh, this is this is very. Some of these are very weirdly worded, as per usual. Um, percent a split arrow. I, I think the percent sign is just not supposed to be there. So a split arrow leaves a mark upon hitting an enemy. Plus one hundred percent lucky shot chance of the split arrow if it is generated through hitting a marked enemy. So your, if your arrow splits, it leaves a mark, and then if your arrow splits again, and that's, like, if your next arrow splits, and it hits the enemy that's marked, it gets plus 100% lucky shot chance, I think is how that works. A little confusing, uh, but uh, it's probably a pretty good thing to have, because most of the time when you are your arrows are splitting and hitting other enemies, the arrows are going to continue to split and hit those enemies, uh, so... It's it's very useful, but not not like super fun. This justice one is fun. This one's good, but I don't think it's super fun. Maybe it could be though. Uh, talisman grants consecutively fired talismans different elemental properties. This is great. I love it. Uh, not having to manually switch, it will just automatically rotate through all of the different elemental damages, damage types. So I'm a big fan of that one. I like it. That's a fun one. Uh, the Argus, generate a spirit upon your first hit on an enemy. The spirit will deal damage to enemies in a line when you hit a random enemy. So, once again, it's kind of confusing. I feel like this is another one where you have to see it to really understand what it means. But when you hit an enemy, you generate a spirit. Then, when you hit a random enemy, so uh, I'm guessing if you just hit any enemy... Um, but I don't know why I didn't say that. Why, why didn't it just say when you hit an enemy again or something? But then the spirit will deal damage to enemies in a line. I don't know if it's straight in front of it. I don't know if it's left, right, center. I, I don't know. I'd have to see it to, to, to understand. Uh, the woodpecker. Now, this one's really interesting to me. A mark will be generated upon crit on a normal enemy. Hitting the mark will directly kill the enemy. 
every enemy in the game is now two shot. Well, I'm sorry, every normal enemy in the game is now two shot. I mean, I understand that the biggest issue for most people is like elite enemies or, or you know, these big boy enemies, but still, having the ability to kill every normal enemy in the game with two shots and have that on a fast firing weapon where you can fire off two shots pretty quick is extremely potent for sure no doubt about it uh the thunderstorm minus 90 percent projectile speed of the lightning ball plus 300 percent base damage of the powered arc and every lightning ball shot increases powered arc damage and aoe up to four times so basically just trying to make the lightning ball this giant ball of destruction hmm <sighs> I woke up pretty early this morning. Um, um, so, yeah, it, it just makes it a giant ball of destruction is what it sounds like. Cool, but uh, not a good weapon still. And then Scorching Rounds. Explosion AoE plus three meters and explosions generated by hitting a block share explosion bonus. I, I, I don't... I don't know. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that, that means. Hitting a... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but it's there. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Scorching Rounds. Explosion AoE plus three meters is pretty cool. Um, so, um, I don't know if I could complain about it. I just, I just really do not understand what on earth this means. So, uh, another one, you'd have to see it to understand it. They deleted the exclusive inscription. The lightning ball will self-explode when it's near enemies on the thunderstorm. And uh, added a new function, adjustable magnification. It allows you to adjust the magnification through the mouse wheel when the scope is on. Now, I don't know if it's adjusted in terms of like there's three, there's two to three different uh, distances or if it's like scalable, like you can get it exactly where you want it, like kind of like adjusting sensitivity type of thing. Um, not sure. Reincarnation. New challenge events in Reincarnation 8. Uh, all enemies will transform into Mountain Guard or Arctic Walrus after being defeated. So it's kind of like the Dark Face Bandit or Desert Worm uh, for just the for, for the last area. Um, this one's kind of confusing, but I think I understand it. So 60% of the damage an enemy takes will take effect in the next 6 seconds instead of immediately. So 40% of your damage is still going through immediately, but 60% of it is not going to take effect until 6 seconds have passed. The enemy will be exempted from remaining damage that hasn't taken effect once it deals damage to a player. So if you hit an enemy, the damage isn't going to happen for 6 sec or 60% of the damage isn't going to happen for 6 seconds unless that enemy hits you, then they'll take the damage that they were waiting to take, I think is what that means. Um Increase hero's movement speed, but take damage equivalent to 10% of your total HP upon dash. That one I would be a pain in the ass, a bitch, uh, 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 just super annoying, which it is Reincarnation 8, so as it should be. Um, but as somebody who dashes consistently to avoid taking damage, um, that one would ruin me. Probably. Uh, next one. Plus 50% damage to enemies within 12 meters. And deal only one damage to enemies beyond 12 meters. So you gotta play right up close and personal. Get in their grill and let them, let them ride. Uh, enemies will be instantly defeated by a crit with the foundry. But minus 80% damage dealt with any other weapon. So. Uh, this one I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think this is a challenge. I think this is a... A, a mega pog because it just it doesn't say normal enemies will be instantly defeated no 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 it says enemies will be instantly defeated by a crit with the foundry so every enemy if you just crit adios see ya that that's gonna make rooms go much faster in my opinion uh enemies gain a large movement speed bonus upon t now wait <laughs> The one scenario where this absolutely screws you over, for the most part, is if you're running a demon lore, because then you have to switch off the demon lore and you lose all your stacks. But anyway, 
Uh, enemies gain a large movement speed bonus upon taking damage, but it will decay quickly. So if you're spamming an enemy and they don't die right away, then they will just turn into uh, Mario and Dreddy and book it at you or wherever they're going. But it does decay quickly. So I, I don't know how quickly, but it decays quickly. Uh, the more types of elemental effects on an enemy, the less damage it'll take. Uh, that's pretty suboptimal for, you know, that that's directed right at the cat here. I mean, every every hero uses elemental effects, and elemental runs are good on every hero. I say it all the time. It's probably the most powerful thing in the game. So this is a nice way to make sure your entire build isn't just fully relied on elemental effects. So, I don't know. It depends on how much less damage it is, really. If this is if this is effective at stopping that or not, um, when when keep dealing weapon damage or skill damage, the damage will decrease gradually. The effect will disappear if any other type of damage is dealt. So if you're continuously dealing weapon or skill damage, you're going to slowly lose that damage output. But if you deal any other kind of damage, then it'll reset. Like elemental damage, I'm guessing, like burn, uh, miasma. Uh, I'm just trying to think of other types of damage that aren't weapon or skill. I guess elemental damage is the big one. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, challenge event adjustments in Reincarnation 8. Um, weapons won't trigger fire, lightning, corrosion damage in this area. The limited effect will be changed upon reloading. The new one is weapons won't trigger fire, lightning, corrosion. The limited effect will be changed upon dashing. So, um, so instead of every time you reload, the, the elemental switches, it's every time you dash, which means it's just rotating through those elemental options more often, most likely. Uh, spiritual blessing, the fake death adjustments. Uh, you cannot teleport during fake death anymore. And this state will be removed when completing a vault or a main level, uh, as well as when a teammate is interacting with the portal. So nothing, not, not a really big change there. Uh, monsters, new monster affixes. So a monster can now be a loyal monster. Uh, an enchanted monster, so the loyal monster will take 50% damage that that, player, uh, that that player's dealt to surrounding monsters and only take 20% of the damage it's supposed to take. So, it takes more damage when you're hitting enemies around it, but when you're actually hitting it, it only takes 20% of the damage, which seems extremely annoying, so um, I'd have to see how, how rough that is, but um, monster affixes will not be applied to those who are inappropriate for the affix setting. Um, I, I feel like a good example of this is you don't want, like for loyal, you don't really want a squishy monster to have loyal. Because it's kind of not the point. You probably want something a little bit tankier. So they, I guess the developers probably just kind of determined which monsters would be good for which affix, affixes and made them only spawn with those affixes. Uh, bug fixes. You can read the bug fixes if you want. No, they have not fixed the, the in my opinion, game-ending, run-breaking, uh, uh, clipping issue of bandit retainer projectiles in the desert. Um... They, they, they fix some issues where you could get stuck, um, and that's, that's about it. I hadn't had any issues getting stuck. I've had issues with enemies and projectiles clipping and ending my runs, which made it very frustrating to play. So they didn't fix any of that. Um, I might hop into a game. I, I mean, I have to make a ton of YouTube videos anyway since I'm about to go on vacation, so I need a ton of videos to go up while I'm gone. So maybe I'll go ahead and hop in and just try, see if I can get one of those exclusives and uh, try it out. But I don't know. I, it's just, it's it's lost the magic just because of the, the, the lack of care, really. But I figured I'd let you guys in on what was happening anyway, because I always will for every update going forward. Uh, but thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on the update down below. If you've played it, let me know how the new exclusive inscriptions are, the new challenges, all that type of stuff. Um, and be sure to check the links down below and hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot, and I'd really appreciate it. So thank you guys. Hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I love each and every one of your faces, and I will catch you all in the next video.